guys welcome back to my channel if you guys don't know who I am already I'm Daisy Solano and you guys should definitely subscribe to be part of the Solanator Solano family whatever you guys want to call it I don't have a name for you guys yet as you can tell but today I'm gonna to be doing a story time on the time that I called my teacher and told you I was gonna kill her yeah savage huh yeah don't do it guys I got suspended well, did I get suspended? You you guys will see, you guys will see. Now, let's just get right into it. I was in elementary school and I was a fourth grader, a fourth grader, guys, yeah. So my teacher, I remember her name. I'm gonna say her name because to this day I don't like her. Cause her, her name is Miss Vargas. She was a cranky old lady. She didn't like me. We all thought she was racist because she would always get like the Hispanics in trouble. But you know, we were little kids. I don't know I don't exactly remember I just remember her like having her favorites and her favorites were like white people I'm not trying to be racist or anything but like that's um who she was we would Hispanics and white people would do the same thing and she would get the Hispanics in trouble so we were like okay you're freaking racist you know whatever and then one day I was in line because we had recess or whatever I was in line and I had a cell phone. My parents got me a cell phone. And I think it was like the first year I ever had a cell phone. And I was excited. And you know, I would I would text my hoe. I'm just kidding. I didn't have holes. <laughs> I had a phone. And I w she knew I had a phone. Because before this, her she gave us her number to write in a planner. And before she gave us her number, she said, um, if you guys call me or tell me anything I will find you guys and I will never give out my phone number again so we're like okay you know I wasn't thinking of calling her or anything I didn't care to talk to her so she was just giving it out just in case we needed help on like homework and stuff so cool nice of her whatever so like I was saying I was at recess and the bell rang so we got in a line and she came up to me and my two friends she's like let me have your cell phone I'm like huh I'm not even using it what why are you gonna take my cell phone and then she's like you're not supposed to be having it out in recess and I'm like how do you even know I had my cell phone you know I didn't have it out it was inside my pocket she's like give me your cell phone so I gave it to her and then she's like I'm gonna send it up to the office and you have to go to the office so I didn't think nothing of it I thought I was just gonna get in trouble for having my phone out in recess so then I get called up to the office and they were like um have you made any calls and I'm like in my head I'm like yeah, it's a fucking cell phone. Duh, I make calls. And then they <laughs> So then they were like, you called Miss Vargas and you told her something. What did you tell her? And I'm like, um, we were sitting there for like a good two, three hours. And I'm like, um, I didn't call her. I don't know what you're talking about. He's like, yes, you did. We heard you calling and we know it was you. What did you tell her? And I'm like, I didn't call her. Uh, I don't even care to call her, you know? And they're all like, we could get the FBI involved if you don't tell us the truth. And then I was like, and then I, okay, I did a dumbass thing. So then they're all like, okay, you said I'm. And I'm like, okay, I said I'm. And I'm like, and I answered him, and I'm like, I'm going to kill you? He's like, yes, that's what you said. And I'm like, no, I didn't. And we were going on and on and on for three hours back and forth. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. And then there was this point I was like, yeah, I did say it. But I didn't say it. I was like, yeah, I did say it. I basically said I was guilty when I wasn't just because they were taking forever. And um, he's like, okay, well, you're going to get suspended. What happened? Blah, blah, blah. And then they were saying that we called from the bathroom stalls and stuff. And I was, And then... And then my dad came in, and he was like, my daughter didn't do it. And then they're all like, yes, she did. She said she was guilty. And at that point, my dad was going to get me in trouble. He was going to take away my phone, and he told me he was never going to give me my phone back. So I was like, oh, shit, this is serious. I'm going to my phone took it away. So I was like, no, I really didn't call, you know. I was just annoyed at the fact that he kept saying I did. So I said I did so it could be over quick, but I didn't know the consequences. He's like... And then my, like, principal, he's like, no, yes, you did call. You already said you were guilty. And I was like, I was like, then get the FBI involved. Have them check my phone. 
and see if I really did it or not because you could go through my call logs and you could because I had Verizon at the time you could go into Verizon and log into uh, my account and see like my recent text messages and my recent calls and like from what day to what date and they won't erase so I was like you know go through it check I didn't call and they're like no we don't have to get the FBI involved I'm like oh so now we don't have to get the FBI involved are you serious but you're telling me that when I told you I wasn't doing it so then my friends also got blamed for it and they're crying they were freaking crying outside and they were like no we didn't do it we didn't do it and so whatever it was my fault because I said I was guilty I said I did do it and they said they didn't so they got you know they got out of it and I did not and then um that same day they told me I was suspended and then we went I remember going to the computer lab and signing into Verizon to see like my call logs we took it to them they're all like no you guys must have erased it whatever and I was like <laughs> I was like how can we erase my call logs you get me like it doesn't make sense I didn't call until this day my dad doesn't believe me they said that I deleted it the call records when first of all at that time I didn't even have access to internet I don't even think my Verizon phone had internet it did I don't even think I had unlimited calling I just had just texting had and I don't even think I had unlimited texting so like I didn't even have a laptop we didn't even have laptop we didn't have Wi-Fi at home so there was no way for me to be able to delete those calls without my parents seeing. So till this day, my dad doesn't believe me and I don't even care because he doesn't even pay for my phone bill anyways. And I got a phone. And um, yeah, that was the time that I supposedly called my teacher and told her I was going to kill her. And I think I know where she lives. She lives. Yeah, dude, I remember, I remember one day I went trick-or-treating and I seen her and I wanted to flip her off. I wanted to cuss her out so bad, but the little good girl that I am didn't do anything because I'm so nice and I'm so innocent and I never called her and told her I was going to kill her. I wish I did because I got in trouble for no reason, but luckily it didn't go on my record or anything. It was elementary school anyway, so it didn't matter, but it didn't go on my record and... I don't think I'd ever call anyone and tell them I ki I'll kill them because I don't hate anyone that bad. Nobody's relevant enough for me to hate. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to be part of the family. Best of Bye. Bye.